In this video, we're going to take a look at creating some cool rock star or singer type designs. We can create many different designs working with these techniques, actually. Working with images as opposed to vector. Getting those looks that you're just never going to get from vector, which make all the difference in your business. Putting out really quality stuff that has imagery in it as opposed to just flat vector. A big benefit when you're dealing with your local competitors. And the nice part is we're going to go into a monochrome bitmap here. I'm going to show you a new technique to create a perfect monochrome bitmap. And my singer here is actually a monochrome bitmap. Now with a monochrome bitmap, it's reversed from vector. If I left click, that's my background color. So if I come up here and click on the X, that'll become transparent. If I right click, I could take a look and see what this looks like as a white or as a gray, or let's say as a light purple, different colors based on the right click working with the monochrome bitmaps and they support spot colors so they're very easy to color separate and you can print them as half tones so to start here i want to take a look at some design assets we have set up here for this project here i have my t-shirt comp i have the image of the singer set up here and we'll work with this and we'll pull his silhouette out of here then i have some text set up southern rock james diamante Trick Twitch, which is just kind of like a demonstrative logo for a band. You could set up any band like this. I'm just working with these for demonstrative purposes. So to get started, we'll go ahead and select our bitmap. I'll zoom out and zoom in. All I'm doing is pulling back and forth on my mouse wheel. That's really how I move around in my Corel workspace. When I'm working in Corel, I'm using my center mouse wheel, pulling it forward to pull back and then pushing in on it to zoom in. With this bitmap selected, I'll go to bitmaps and I'm going to come here. I'm going to go to mode. I'm going to come down to grayscale. And I'll take all my color out. I'm going to go to effects, adjust, and tone curve. And I make some tweaks here on the image. Come over here to the center, drop a point, pull that down, darken this up quite a bit, as you can see there. Might take some of this lighter area out just to tone that back a little bit, but not too much. And you can tweak this in any way you want to. On advancedtshirts.com, there is a very comprehensive tutorial on working with the tone curve. I suggest anyone who's not familiar with the tone curve, watch that. This is one of my go-to tools that I use very often when I'm dealing with image adjustment and image editing. I'll go ahead and select OK here. Then with my image still selected, I'm going to come here and click on Edit Bitmap, and that's going to open my image in Corel Photo Paint. Once that's opened, I'll pull back to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to come over here to the Masking Tools, and I'm going to get the Freehand Mask Tool. And I'm just going to kind of come around the outside of my singer here to create a mask, getting in there pretty close because I'm going to fill all this with black. Just like that and then I'll just double click here and he'll be selected now this mask is over him so I'm gonna to go to mask and go invert and come down here to my bucket tool but I want to make sure that that's black so for my fill I'll double click on that come down change that to a black and select OK and I'll come over here to my fill tool and I'll click that and now that's all been set up as black and then I'll come up here and go to mask and mask remove. Then I'll go ahead and zoom in here just by pushing forward. And I'm going to do some more things here. I'm going to go to adjust and tone curve again. And I'm going to try and get rid of a lot of this lighter color using the tone curve. So I'll come here and I'll click after I select that eyedropper tool. That'll show me how dark that is. I'll lay down a point here. And I'll come over here and select this point and pull that down. And we can see that I'm getting rid of a lot of that darkness in there. But you can also see the effect that it has on my actual singer and my silhouette. So you can dial that in however you'd like to. Here I'll go ahead and select OK. Then I'm going to zoom in some more here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting with black to change all of this black. So here I'll change to my Wacom tablet, and I'll be working with that to get rid of this black. I know that my color is already black. You want to make sure that this is set up as black. 
you've got your paint tool selected. This is a pressure sensitive pen. You'll notice if I hold down lightly, I get a small lid. And if I hold down and push hard, I get a bigger nib, as you can see right there. And I'll just come in here instead of racing this out by painting it with black. I'm not actually erasing, but I'm painting, but it's removing that grayness and turning it black. And I'll come right through here. And then I'll come down here. Now I'm going to start getting as close as I can. Then I'll come back with a smaller nib after I get all of this erased out so that I can get that nice grayscale silhouette look for my t-shirt design. And I might come down here and move over just a little bit this way. And there's some there that I missed also and I want to get all of that. And I'm pressing down really hard now to get everything I can here. And we'll come in closely here. And I'll come back in through with a smaller nib later. I'm just going to get rid of all of this that's out in here in this area by painting black to erase or remove those grayscale or white values. Holding down pretty hard here also. And then we'll come back in, like I said, with a smaller nib and get rid of the rest of that. Get rid of this here. Come right in here. And we've gotten rid of all that. I'm not going to want a flat area down here or a straight line across where the bottom of the singer is. So I'll just go ahead and erase some of that out. And come over here and erase some of this out too, painting it black to erase it. Then coming up through here and getting rid of all that. Then we'll scroll up here, come over here to the left a little bit, come in here and go ahead and paint all of this out to a black. And you'll see where I'm going with this in just a minute. I'll come back up through here. Go ahead and erase that there. It looks like we pretty much got everything that's out in the larger areas. Put my pen down here and then I'll go back to my mouse. Come here to my pick tool. Go ahead and zoom out. I can see I've got a lot of that. And I'm going to come back through here and just get rid of these areas close to the body of the singer. So I'll start up here at the top. We can see the jacket. Everything looks pretty good where the, hair, where, the, where the hair is here. I can come through with my eyedropper and take a look, and that's all zero gray, and that's what I want. But then I come down here and I get into these two, three, four, fives. I'm going to get half tones in there. That's not what I want, so I'm going to go ahead and paint that out with the black or erase that out with the black using the paint tool. So go back to my pen here, and I'll come over here to the pen tool. I'm going to change this to, let's say, 20 and then hit enter and I didn't want 50 I wanted 20 let's hit 20 and enter there we go and I might want to be even down to let's say 10 here 10 and hit enter and that's going to be good right there and then I'll go ahead over here to my zoom tool I'll come in here and zoom into this area and then I'll go back to my paint tool and I'll just start erasing out going around this area here, getting rid of that color that's in there, being very close to what's going on with the jacket, but getting that grayness out of there. Go right through here and keep that detail and then come through here. I'll come over here, I'll scroll over to the left and then I'll come through here, make sure I've got everything there. It looks like I do. When I invert, I'll see if there's anything left over. And I'll come down through here. And we'll just get rid of all of this out in here. And just erase right in. As you can see here, I'm not actually erasing. I'm painting with the black. But it's kind of like erasing because you're just going through the black and getting rid of the gray or white tint that you have here in the dark areas. Come back down through here. And then I'll come over here with my pen and I'll just left click and bring this over to the right a little bit. Come down through this area, get rid of all of that. Trying to keep some of this detail for the print. Come down through here, more of the same. And just getting rid of all of that. 
Let me go ahead and scroll down here some more. Get rid of all this here. And remove all that. Scroll down some more here. We'll get rid of this. Come in here to the jacket. Maybe I'll just arch that in a little bit there. Come down through here and see what we've got. Got some in here. Get rid of that. Got some more down here. Go ahead and paint that out with the black. And then I'll scroll over here a little bit. We'll come through here. No need to be perfect with these silhouettes. But we do want to be as close as possible and get a really nice look here. I'll scroll down here. The jacket's going down through this way I can see here. So I'm going to come down this way and just kind of follow what's going on with the jacket. We'll come in back in through this way here. Kind of brown that off a little bit. And then erase all of this out here. Scroll down some more. And then come in right through here. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. Come down here, see what we've got down here. And we'll come along where the shirt is here. Go ahead and get rid of all of that. So we've got that shirt down there. And then we'll come around the corner here. Go ahead and get rid of all this. And that's all gone now. I'm going to come over here to the other side. See what we're dealing with here. You can see coming along this cable that I have some of that. I want to go ahead and get rid of that. Keep that cable nice and smooth. Come right down through like that. Once again, this doesn't need to be perfect here. I think I'll go ahead and get rid of this area. So I'll just go ahead and erase all of this out so that, that cable stands out. And just erase all of that right out through there. Working with my tablet and my Wacom tablet. And this is pressure sensitive. You can see if I hold down a little, I get a small nib. And as I press down harder, it gets bigger. Come down through here. Go ahead and get rid of all of this that's in there and then the same right through there. Go ahead and scroll up here then I'll scroll over here to the left and we'll come up here this way and that looks alright. I've got some areas in here that I want to get rid of. Come up through here and see what we're dealing with. That all looks pretty good. Go ahead and go back to my mouse here. I'm going to zoom out here and I can see what I'm dealing with here. And I'll go ahead here at this point and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to image. I'm going to go to transform and invert colors. And now I can see the white here. And this is what I want inverted. Now I'll zoom in here and see if there's any areas that I want to get rid of that I didn't get rid of. And I can see a few areas like up in here. So I'm going to go to the eraser tool this time. That's set up at 20. I can come up in here, erase this, do the same here, get rid of that there, get rid of this point here, see if there's anything else I'm dealing with here. Just some little points that I might have missed. Can't really see anything down here at the bottom. I want to get rid of that. And is there anything else here? I can't see anything. I can go back to my pen tool get my eyedropper and check all of this and make sure everything's 255 gray 255 gray is pure white and that's pretty well set up as far as i can see there looking at everything i can see some data in here and i'll go ahead and with my eraser again come in there and get rid of that there also make sure i've gotten rid of everything around in here at this point, I'm happy with this, so I'll go ahead and select Save. And I'll send that back into my Corel Draw, and I'll be ready to set up my perfect monochrome to finish my design. Go ahead and close Photo Paint, and there we can see that. Now that I've got my grayscale silhouette set up in Corel Draw, I do want to bring a tool into Corel that I use a lot, and you might want to do the same thing. I'm going to go to Tools. I'm going to come down here to customization. I'm going to go to commands. I'm going to change from file to show all. And once that's set up, 
I'll come down and scroll through to the boundary and I'll bring that into my Corel workspace. So I'll come down here into the B's. There's my boundary. I can go ahead and left click, hold down, drag that into my Corel workspace, release that. Come down here and click on OK. Get these three dots up here. Drag this up here and I'm just going to put it right up here because I use it all the time. I'm always using boundaries around my bitmap images. So I'll go ahead and create a boundary. That'll give me a vector rectangle. I'm going to go ahead and take this and move it over here. And then I'm going to fill that with black. Right click to take the outline off. I'm going to come over here to my grayscale silhouette. I'm going to hit Control E to export. I'm going to call that band shirt just like the image. I'll go ahead and export that as a PNG and select OK. Now to create my monochrome bitmap, I'm going to select the boundary that I made as a vector and I'm going to go to my object properties. And I'm going to go to transparency and I'm going to go to bitmap transparency. Then I'm going to come down here to modify, come down here to browse. I'm going to change this fill down to a PNG and I'll see my image there. I'll go ahead and select that. Now because it's exactly the same size as the boundary, it'll pop right in there. And there I have that set up as a transparency behind that. And you can see that that is transparent. With that selected, I'll go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap, RGB, anti-aliasing with transparent background, very important, or your monochrome conversion will not be correct. I'll go ahead and select OK. I'm going to go over here and I'll crop this to make it a little bit smaller. Double click here. Now that's cropped. I'm going to go to bitmaps mode and I'm going to select black and white. I'm going to be in the line art. Doesn't matter. I'll select OK. Now I have a monochrome bitmap. And you can see that I have a white fill, which is my background, and a black outline, which is my foreground. I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to left click to make that background transparent. I'll come down here and right click in the blue to make that blue. I'll zoom out, get my pick tool, select my t-shirt, come over here and give that a gray, and then right click for a black for some shading on that. There we go. Then I'll go ahead and duplicate on top the silhouette of my singer and I can make that a little bit bigger and set that up on my t-shirt where I'd like to have it positioned. I'm going to go ahead and take my singer's name text here and I'll bring this up here to the right towards the top. I'll left click once and right click once and make that white. And I can zoom in there and just kind of position that the way I'd like it to be. And you can see our effect here. Now I'm going to come to my trick switch text. Bring that over here towards the bottom. And we can change that to a white for now. And I'll bring my southern rock down here to the bottom also. And we can change that to a white also. And I didn't duplicate that. So I'll cut that and then just paste that back in and change that to a white also. And there we can see our design set up as a monochrome with that silhouette kind of grayscale look. And if I want to see how, how that looks as a white, I can right click on the white and see how that looks. Hit Control Z, go back to the blue. Go ahead and get my trick switch here, and I'm going to do some tricks with this for some effects. So I'll duplicate this over here. Come up here to my color palette. Left click on the black to make that black. Then I want to add some effects to this. So to work with this for effects, I'm just going to go ahead and take this. First of all, I'll go ahead and copy this just so I got a backup on my clipboard. And then I'm going to bring this over here a little bit more. We'll zoom in. I'm going to go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap. I'm going to select 150 dpi for my effects. This will all be fine. Make sure you've got an anti-aliasing 
set on and you've got transparent background that's very important because we're going to go back to a monochrome select OK then I'm going to go to bitmaps and I'm going to go to inflate bitmap and manually inflate bitmap and I'm going to make that 250 percent bigger and hit enter now I'm going to go to bitmaps I'm going to go to distort and I'm going to select blocks go ahead and close this and we can see that effect there I'm going to make this a little bit less here and a little bit less here and select OK now from here I'm going to go to bitmaps again I'm going to go to creative I'm going to come down here to scatter just to soften that up a bit I'll go ahead and close this we can see that effect there select OK I'm going to go to bitmaps blur and I'm going to come down here to zoom blur and we'll take a look at that and you can see I'm getting that effect it could be like light coming out from behind the logo and I like that set up at 85 that looks all right I could make it a little bit less but I think I'll go with up here in the 80s and select OK then I'm going to go to bitmap blur again and this time I'm going to go to smooth just to smooth that out set all the way to 100 and select OK then I'll come here to my crop tool left click and drag that over here release that double click on this then I'll take this and I'll go bitmap mode black and white select OK come up here and left click in the X to make my background transparent and then I can right click to make that blue and that'll set up as a spot call and I can bring this over here to where my twitch is now this is on top so you can right click go to order go to in front of click on my monochrome grayscale silhouette of the singer here and that'll put that behind there and then I can take that with that selected and kind of tweak that into where it would be in my effect as you can see right there now if I want to add more I can copy that and paste that in make that a little bit stronger come over here just left click and select just my text I can copy that and then go ahead and paste that in on top go ahead and make that blue I'll left click hold that right click one time duplicate move that a little bit and then I'll go ahead and fill that with a white so it's got that blue offset in it something like that right there and then I can go ahead and select all of this lasso everything because I'm going to want to move that just a little bit I'll hold down shift to deselect the southern rock and then I can center this up just a little bit here and I missed my hit control Z my monochromes there so I'm going to go with a much bigger selection make sure I've got those now I've got those I'm going to hold down shift and see if I can get rid of southern rock and then just center these up a little bit around my designer maybe I can push this in here a little bit the same there and just set that up the way I want to have that set up bring this up into this area a little bit more you can see that gets rid of a lot of that dark area where we didn't pick up anything when we did our conversion I can bring this southern rock up into here a little bit more and now I've got that design set up the way I'd want it for my t-shirt and also two size so I can set up a comp send that to my client etc this is all set up so you can separate the spot colors your monochromes will support Pantones. I mean, you could go with a Pantone blue, as you can see there. I'll hit Control Z. Very easy to color separate. Everything's all in spot colors working with the monochromes. So go ahead and wrap here. That's how we go ahead and set up a design like that very easily in Corel Draw, using that transparency trick that we went through, using the boundary, setting that to black, bringing your PNG back in, converting to a monochrome, Zoom in here, take a closer look at our final result. Go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.